I did that interview in Normandy, France, where he is part of ceremonies marking today's 80th anniversary of D-Day. The Allied invasion marked a major turning point in World War II, ultimately leading to the defeat of Nazi Germany. Alex Jokic shows us how Minnesotans are honoring this milestone anniversary. A number of Minnesotans made the 4,000 mile trek to take part in those ceremonies on this emotional anniversary. 80 years after these pivotal moments on the beaches of Normandy. Some of the last living D-Day veterans made the trip back to France. You will never find another guy that can say he ran Omaha Beach at night. I'm it. That includes Owatonna native Jake Larson, who despite running through machine gun fire, survived without a scratch. I say there is a God. With D-Day veterans now between 96 and 107 years old, this will likely be the last major anniversary with them in attendance. We cannot let what happened here be lost in the silence of the years to come. The emotional events in Normandy drawing President Joe Biden and a number of Minnesotans. Governor Tim Walz is there, along with Congressman Tom Emmer and Dean Phillips, and others like Steve Geider, who's simply visiting all the sites on his own. There was people back home would show as much respect for the American soldiers that were here as they do here, because it is absolutely incredible. There's a flyover happening right now. We also talked to Doug Thompson, who just got back from Normandy. His uncle was a D-Day survivor. So it's a little bittersweet to be in these places and talk about these veterans because, uh, you know, pretty soon um, we're not going to have first-person voices on, on what happened in D-Day anymore. Thompson's trip was dedicated to walking in the footsteps of Minnesotans who battled on those beaches. Some of their stories will become permanent exhibits at the Minnesota Military and Veterans Museum. And it's um, important to, to recognize what those guys did 80 years ago. Alex Jokic, 5 Eyewitness News.